Hello students, in this video, I'll be sharing about the difference between xylem and phloem. And it's very important question as an exam point of view. In last video, we have discussed about the xylem, its component and its structure. Through an easy trick. And if you have not seen that video, link in description box below. It's me Nisha Chauhan and you're watching Scienceaholic. So welcome back to my channel. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. First, we will understand from where it comes. So xylem, the term derived from Greek word that is xylon and the meaning of xylon, it's wood. Phloem, the term derived from Greek word that is phloios and the meaning it's bark. Second, it provides mechanical support to the plant while phloem does not provide any mechanical support. Third, its cell wall is thick while in phloem the cell wall is thin. Fourth, cell wall is made up of lignin in xylem while in phloem the cell wall is made up of cellulose. Cell walls are impermeable to water while in phloem cell walls are permeable to food. Now let's see six point. The movement is unidirectional means the movement is in one direction only. It means from root roots to the apical part of the plant. While in phloem, the movement is bidirectional means movement in two direction from leaves to storage part and from storage part to the growing part. It means in the presence of sunlight, it produces food and that food transfer to the different different growing part of the plant. 7. Xylem consists of dead cells except parenchyma. Xylem parenchyma is the only living cell present in the xylem while in phloem mainly contains living cell except fibers are only dead cells in the phloem. They comprises of xylem vessels, xylem fibers and tracheids. While in phloem, they comprises of phloem fibers, sieve tubes, sieve cells, phloem parenchyma and companion cells. Xylem, it is located in the center of the vestila bundle that is deep in the plant while the phloem is located on the outer side of the vestila bundle. Xylem often constitute the bulk of the plant body while the phloem forms a small part of the plant. It means 70% part of the plant is made up of xylem and rest 38% part occupied by phloem. 11th point, in xylem, the conducting cells or tracheary cells are dead while in phloem, the conducting cells are living. 12th point, Passive transport of water and minerals occurs in xylem while in phloem active transport of sugar and metabolism occurs. So this is all 12 points, 12 differences between xylem and phloem. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and do press the bell icon for more informative video.